A very good afternoon to one and all. I am Runa Sahu, Assistant Professor and Head, Department Geology, Remora Degree College. On behalf of Geology Department, Remora Degree College, I would like to welcome all the participants joining this webinar. Today, we are going to discuss on webinar topic, Molecular Basis of RNA Vaccines Against COVID-19. As we know that COVID-19 is playing a havoc now throughout the world, more than 200 countries of the world are affected by this pathogenic calamity. Corona is a disease caused by virus. We know that viruses are structurally though simple with nucleic acid and protein capsid, which can replicate only inside the living cells of an organism, but functionally too complex, which undergo mutism so frequently giving challenges to the world of scientists, researchers, medical officers, doctors to combat the disease. The source of SARS-CoV-2 is yet to be determined, but investigations are ongoing to identify the genotic source to the outbreak. The severity of COVID-19 symptoms can range from mild to severe acute respiratory illness, weakening our immune system, leading to death of the people. So. There is a need of vaccines for meeting global demand. Vaccination is one of the major success story of modern medicines. Many clinical trials of vaccines are in progress by WHO, University of Oxford, different research institute in different countries to produce a suitable vaccines to eradicate the pandemic. Researchers using conventional approach have struggled to develop effective vaccines against number of pathogens particularly viruses that cause both acute and chronic. So, with an innovative approach with the RNA vaccine, it is emerging as one of the front runners among the technology being exploited to develop a vaccines against COVID-19. So, there is an hope on RNA vaccines that have been shown to be safe and well tolerated in clinical trials, which may can unlock the lockdown period of COVID-19 and can make the world as usual normal to life. So it is a common question of people of the world that whether a successful vaccines can be developed, the safety of vaccines, cost effect, the availability to the common people of the world all remain a question mark. With this webinar, we will try to find out a probable solution to the above question. So today we have with us two eminent speakers, Dr. Gargi Mohanty, Assistant Professor, PG Department of Geology, North Odisha University, Baripada, and Dr. Dilip Kumar Bej, Assistant Professor, FM Autonomous College, Balasur. So before going to the topic, I would like to request Principal Remura Degree College, Mrs. Jayanti Naik, for welcome address. Madam, please address. Thank you. Good afternoon, all welcome to all of you. And congratulate to our invited speaker, Dr. Gargi Mahanti, Assistant Professor, Department of Geology, North Odisha University, and Dr. Dilip Kumar Bates, Assistant Professor, FM Autonomous College, Balasur. Today we are going to discuss very good topic on molecular basic of RNA vaccine against COVID-19. The whole world is fighting against Corona war with the available methods of observing 
respiratory and hand hygiene, sanitization of surface and social distancing, in absence of any remedy and vaccine of it. There is currently no licensed medication to care COVID-19. WHO continues to support fight against coronavirus. Different country trying to find the solution by clinical observation, but till now no result. We are trying to increase our immunity. Is it fruitful for us? It is always question mark. Is it like AIDS and cancer? Can you say? We are corona free? How many days will you listen and obey the common words? Stay home, stay safe. Many, many thanks to the geology department organizing such type of webinar. All the participants are anxious to listen about prevention precaution against the dangerous virus. I hope all the participants enjoy this webinar and will be conscious about COVID-19. Thank you. All the best. Thank you very much, madam. I express my sincere thanks and deep sense of gratitude for your able guidance and support to organize this kind of webinar in our college. So now, this is the time to listen to our topic from our keynote speaker, Dr. Kargi Mohanty. Madam authored three books and published more than one dozen articles in reported national and international journals. Under her guidance, many research scholars have been awarded M. Phil degree. Presently, Madam is working under TST project. Now I will request Kargi Madam to deliver to our participants. Madam, please, over to you. Madam. Okay. A very good afternoon, all of you. Uh, first of all, am I audible to all of you? Yes, ma'am. You are audible. Uh, extreme. Uh, I, I uh, give my uh, sincere thanks to the organizers of this webinar. And uh, I uh, really appreciate uh, your uh, uh, step towards uh, alarming uh, this COVID pandemic situation. To take a uh, step towards its uh, awareness and everything with this seminar. Now, good afternoon, Jayanti Madam, Principal, Ramona Degree College, Dilip Sir, the next invitee of this seminar, uh, Mishra Sir, uh, other members of the Geology Department. Uh, Renu Madam, uh, Head of the Department, Remuna Degree College, Gopal Sir, and all other uh, members present in this webinar. So, uh, so today we, uh, we will be uh, talking about the vaccines which have been recently developed against COVID-19. Now. Uh, let me share my screen with you so that I can uh, come on to the topic directly without wasting much of the time. So here, uh, this is my presentation. Is my screen available to you? Have I successfully shared my screen? Yes, ma'am. It is. Okay. It is seen. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, welcome to this uh, webinar once again. Now, we will be discussing for a few minutes about the molecular basis of mRNA vaccine synthesis against COVID virus, COVID-19, especially. Now, I am Dr. Gargi Mahalvi of North Pulse University. A lot of uh, introduction has already been given. So, no more interaction directly after the topic. So today's, in today's webinar, we will be focusing upon the introduction of mRNA, types of vaccine, approaches of uh, vaccine construction, then delivery and activation of immune system by mRNA vaccine, advantages and disadvantages, 
mrna vaccine synthesis against covid 19 and its mode of action how does it work so what are vaccines all of you know vaccines are certain uh, uh, med, um, uh, things which are injected to our body against certain diseases so that our immune system can raise antibody against them conventionally a vaccine approach um, is that by which we inject some activated or live uh, pathogens like your bacteria virus so you might have known about polio virus you might have known about the smallpox virus which are uh, the parts of which are given the parts means this virus itself has uh, certain proteins like your capsid protein now in case of uh, covid virus these are there are having spikes protein which when get entered into our body our body starts reacting they cognizing them and reacting them reacting in what way in producing the antibodies against them. okay our our immune system is so efficient that it uh, rapidly create antibody against any pathogen which enters into our body so all of the time we do not fall ill even we even so, if we can count a certain number of pathogens in our daily yeah. life because of this and so what happens uh, in something uh, diseases against which we do not have vaccine then when they come into our body our since our body could not recognize them or not able to recognize them and not produce any and hence not from but their approach so we fall in they invade our body they destroy our cells and then they may fall disease with it this is the problem with the disease causing factors now uh, certain viruses like a uh, aids zika zika virus ebola virus and corona virus it is not possible to up till uh, up till uh, two months back it was not possible to uh, synthesize any vaccine because of uh, many reason, uh, reasons and a uh, uh, few reasons are because the genome of this virus is very short very small and the highly mutated that means they will undergo mutation at a very high rate as a result whatever uh, epitope we will be taking as the antigen to develop antibodies against that they will not uh, they uh, for a, a period of time they will be successful after that they won't respond to that because uh, the virus will already i uh, mean uh, they have undergone the mutation as a result of which that particular protein against which we have designed our vaccine is no more valid so our body will not uh, is not able to respond to the antigen because now the antigen has changed because the gene in the virus is have changed therefore the antigen which is entering into our body has changed so whatever antibodies have raised against those antigen are now not responding to the new antigens which are entering into our body that's why that is the main disadvantage or that is the main bottleneck in the creation of or construction of this vaccine against certain viruses like ebola corona zika so what is uh, the alternative to that so uh, we offered the mrna vaccine for it now we did science chat come up with the mrna vaccine so i know many of you are very curious to know what are mrna vaccine because we know about the conventional vaccine so i was about to show you this uh, video but i am not sure whether i will be able to show you let me try one how uh, again my uh, screen is getting shared by uh, with you or not yes ma'am okay. and we can see it yes ma'am uh you can see okay. Uh, I need that uh, feedback because on uh, lots of time this network problem is there. So this is the uh, RNA strand. This uh, this is the picture of how the DNA is, uh, RNA is getting made in our body and what is done. Let me start from the beginning.
the disease causing protein so that our once the protein is formed inside our body then uh, it will be lysed by our cells by the proteasomes present or by other different other mechanism the protein which is not recognized by our body as its own protein will be degraded by the different mechanisms of this cell but the remnants protein uh, there is a chance that if our immune system will respond to that and will start uh, creating antibodies against it right so this is the idea they got so they uh, they started uh, developing or working on that thing that they using this mrna into the cell or into the body of the patient then they allow the body to synthesize protein against this which protein the virus protein the covid virus protein against which our own system the body system or human body system can synthesize antibodies against that particular uh, protein which is which has come out from this mrna right so what are the approaches one is conventional uh, vaccine approach which is uh, done for against the inactivated disease causing organisms or proteins made by the pathogen uh, so uh, how does it work so after the entry into patient's body they stimulate the body's immune system so it is trying to respond more rapidly and effectively if it is exposed to the infectious against future so two vaccines we actually expose our body to different type of pathogenic antigen that means we expose our immune system to recognize the pathogens which is coming the proteins present in the pathogens are good for our body so vaccines are what vaccines are they are itself pathogens or some parts of the pathogen proteins डायरेक्टलीवर because of the many reasons because the uh, this pathogen is highly mutating so if for a month it will work the next month it won't work so there are uh, so many uh, uh, reasons for it because uh, because of which we cannot go for the conventional vaccine so what we can do we can have a alternative to that so for the first time we have not yet developed uh, mrna vaccines for zika or ebola but we have in the successful mode to construct a mrna vaccine against covid so what is uh, so how does it uh, uh, it can be produced we know in our uh, now the uh, days of come in uh, by uh, in which we can synthesize any fragment of nucleic acid maybe it is dna or maybe in rna uh, in our gene machine we can do that so we uh, scientists have picked up a protein spike protein what is spike protein you might have seen this uh, uh, corona virus structure so some uh, uh, funnel like structure or some cone like structure come out from the virus so those are the spike protein so those uh, those mrna uh, those, those proteins which are uh, giving rise to the spike proteins they are encoded from the gene and uh, as I, i i told you this uh, here in the covid it is a rna itself so the sequence which is responsible for the spike protein generation they pick up that particular sequence okay. then what they do so uh, different companies so there are few companies in the race which are uh, producing this uh, mrna vaccine so some uh, some are taking for example this approach uh, this is a company which are uh, developed uh, this uh, taking into account sars covid 2 virus uh, two protein Moderna is an another uh, company which has taken a mRNA of 1237 uh, factor so different companies are taking different uh, mRNA into account they are synthesizing it in the laboratory then 
there are so many uh, gene transfer methodology nowadays you might have known about uh, this calcium uh, this uh, gene transfer methodology like uh, your gene gun article bombardment then uh, direct uptake transfection method so one is also your liposome mediated method now here the liposome mediated method has been a uh, little bit modified तो मैडम लेफ्ट है हेलो इट इज नॉट ऑडिबल मैडम सर ड्यू टू टेक्निकल इश्यूज मैडम हैव अ नेटवर्क प्रॉब्लम वी विल बी सून कंटिन्यू जस्ट इन 2 मिनट्स वी विल बी कंटिन्यू Am I audible now? Yes, ma'am. We are audible. Oh. Yes, ma'am. You are audible, ma'am.
am i audible now yes ma'am ma'am you are audible ma'am हेलो यस मैम हेलो मैम यू कैन कंटिन्यू वी वी कैन सी हियर यू मैम यू कैन हियर मी कैन यू यस मैम यू कैन यस मैम यू शेयर योर स्क्रीन यू प्रेजेंट योर स्क्रीन वी कैन एबल टू सी ऑल यस मैम नाउ मैम इट इज क्लियरली सीन मैम मैम यू कंटिन्यू यस मैम So inside the cell, uh, when it enters into the cell, the cell uh, starts uh, starts secreting antibodies against it, or uh, uh, constructing antibodies against it. Approaches for vaccine construction. So conventional approach, we have already uh, seen what happens there. We are uh, entering uh, or we are uh, giving this inactivated disease causing organism full or partially, and then we are stimulating the system uh, immune system of the body patient's body to fight against that particular infection now in the mrna vaccine what happens so i explain to you it is a synthetic version of a mrna we constructed it in the um, gene machine in the, in a uh, laboratory then we take it uh, into the patient body to liquid nanoparticles of liposome and uh, then uh, with the injection we insert into the patient body so the cells of the uh, patient body updated Now the thing is that the whole virus is not constructed in the patient body. Only a particular protein is constructed against which, which is the vital protein. So against which the antibody is uh, started uh, synthesizing inside the host cell or inside the patient's body. As a result, whenever coronavirus will enter, it will just recognize that particular spike protein. Once it will recognize the spike protein, then it will attack the whole virus. and the uh, molecules which are responsible in our body to defend or fight against that particular uh, virus we kill them or will overcome that issue then this is the schematic diagram so this is construction of mrna sequences then a uh, translation of specific mrna into the disease specific antigen and once the antigen produced in the body then it triggers the immune system of the body to make antibodies against the immune organism that is the virus so here it is uh, it is how this works okay so you have this uh, non replicating mrna and uh, uh, self replicating mrna okay non replicating so once it will enter it will not replicate but self replicating it will start replicating as a new picture okay so in the first picture you can see uh, it is a uh, nrm Uh, construction the middle portion the green portion is the anti uh, spike protein uh, mrna and it is uh, then it is makes an entry to the nanoparticles into the patient body then it starts producing the spike protein and uh, when the proteins are being uh, this uh, Uh, when this uh, they start uh, giving the excess or engineered protein they are being 
recognized by the MSC website. So what is this major history compatible history or the public history of which are also the components of your immune system. There are so many components of the immune system. So there are two types of MSC in human beings, MSC1 and MSC2. So at this point I am not entering into that loop to explain you what is the, what is the function of MSC1 and MSC2. But uh, just I want to uh, convey you that, okay, MSC1, MSC2, they recognize, they first recognize whatever the antigen comes, then they decide into, into which path they are going to kill the antigen which is coming into the body. Okay, so after getting recognized by the protein present in the, so that is the antigen, uh, uh, antigen recognition part which is done on the receptors of this. MSC1. Okay, there are MSC1. They will recognize and the self-replicating anti um, mRNA. They will replicate inside your cell again and again, and then they will be responded. So they will be memorized. The the, the two thing is that non-replicating uh, things they will be uh, they will uh, get incorporated or they will be uh, present in all the uh, body excepting the lymphoid organs or the secondary lymphoid organs like your lymph nodes, transit, etc. where there are antigen present in cells. Now what are antigen present in cells? The antigen present in cells are present in uh, the secondary lymphoid organs in which they will uh, take up this antigen which will be entering into our body through blood system they will enter into this lymph node and in the lymph node or lymph, uh, sorry, uh, blood uh, lymphatic system, they will enter into the lymph node and in the lymph node, they will be uh, uh, recognized by certain cells and these cells will present this antigen to the T lymphocytes and B lymphocytes. The T lymphocytes will help the B lymphocytes to memorize this antigen, right? So once it will recognize, it, it will start partial, it will start antibodies making and half of the cells, there are two types of B lymphocytes, B, me B memory cells and B plasma cells. The plasma cells will split the antibodies, the B memory cells will memorize them, okay. So, and they will memorize it for uh, the patient body. So, whenever it will enter, it will again give. Then in the next, uh, what will happen, this MSC2 will be responsible in bringing out the immune system in the lateral case. Okay, so this is how, this is the methodology which has been developed. So, delivery and activation, so it will, I have already told, it is uh, the middle thing. In the injection from the DC into the skin by injection into the body. So, the, uh, the mRNA will be injected into the patient's body directly. Okay. So, we uh, you don't have to wonder how it is going to uh, enter into our body. Yes, it will be entering into our body uh, through injection. But those molecules, those mRNA will be coated with the lymphocytes so that as, uh, when it will enter our M, uh, there are RNA enzymes which may act upon them. So, in order to avoid that situation, we are transferring this mRNA with the liposome code. Okay. So, there are two parts of our immune system, innate defense, that is what we are born with, and acquired immune system, that which we are acquiring throughout our life through the vaccines or by exposing ourselves to different immunogens from our childhood up to our youth or there are So classical vaccine follicles okay. uh, classical uh, means uh, they will um, uh, trigger the acquired immune system. So um, uh, classical vaccines they will trigger the immune system, acquired immune system whereas the conventional uh, all kinds of immune system will be activated by the mRNA. This is the beauty of mRNA that they will um, trigger our innate immune system rather than acquired immune system. So, advantages of mRNA vaccine is the safety, efficacy and production. So, safety, there is a, a lot of, uh, say, I mean, uh, these are safe in the sense that 
they will not make the whole of the pathogen so no cross reactions will be there then efficacy they will be efficient clinical results have uh, come up with an efficient result of it and the production vaccine can be produced more rapidly in laboratory by the process that can be standardized so we can the only disadvantage with this that uh, it can have the unintended uh, effect that means the uh, part of the mrna which makes both more different other uh, proteins may problem create uh, problem the delivery is the issue because i uh, i told you that uh, uh, mrna we will get exposed to rna if not encapsulated properly then they will be they uh, minimized by the rna and then storage they need a mrna are very fragile so they need a proper care uh, storage system otherwise they will uh, bl- uh, they will get broken now so uh, during mrna covid mrna synthesis the candidate mrna uh, is a uh, mrna of sars cov 2 so this is sars cov 2 is the uh, candidate mrna which will stimulate the immune system to generate protective long lasting antibody and t receptor against the spike protein so i was uh, the concept mrna based vaccine targeting sars cov 2 spike virus this mrna format will be a urinating containing mrna nucleoside modified mrna and self replicating mrna because that has to be produced again and again therefore it is a self replicating same amplifying uh, mrna and a uridine containing mrna so it is a nanoparticle to which it will enter and the candidate is for that particular uh, thing it is btn 1162b2 this is the code so this is the diagram of your uh, process so it is the mrna which is uh, in with the spike protein the spike protein so you can see here these are the spike protein this is the mrna of the spike protein then this is the uh, cell into which to the liposome mediated it will enter the cell then they, they will uh, give rise they will help in the cell to um, make to uh, enter into the body to uh, start uh, triggering the immune system particularly the innate immune system so that patient can uh, start reacting so here this is my concluding slide so here i i want to show you in the other in the somatic cell like your muscle cells those uh, cells are not the part and parcel of your lymphatic system they will trigger like this uh, the uh, in the muscle cells it will come the mrna will come then the ribosome will synthesize the protein then it will be degraded the viral antigens will be degraded they will be remembered by the immune system the msc1 molecule will recognize them and then they will be destroyed and uh, this uh, cdc8 t cells will reco- uh, means remember them um, uh, will enter those viral antigens okay but in others when they will be coming to the lymphoid organs they will be memorized by the t cells and the mc2 will come into action and the cdc4 will help in the recognition of it okay so this is the way by which the mrna vaccines are produced so mode of action continues so the memory cells as i told you they will memorize and start giving the antibodies so mrna vaccines are brought a new ray of hope to step outside without much threat of corona virus affecting and infection so let us hope that the coming year will offer us a normal and hazard free life thank you thank you hello hello thank you ma'am thank you ma'am okay. thank you very so much say, yes ma'am uh, certain issues were there with the yes yes ma'am the technical issues were there due to some technical issues and network problem we were unable to listen some valuable information from gargi madam sorry for that but still we will thank you ma'am you have beautifully discussed different pathways advantages of rna vaccines 
which will surely very informative to all of us and will be very helpful to all the participants so now this is time to listen to our next keynote speaker dr dilip kumar bej sir has been awarded with phd degree twice one from tokyo japan and another from utkal university he had published more than one dozen articles in reputed national and international journals he is a good scholar and a leader speaker so welcome sir now i will request sir to deliver speech to the participant sir please गोपाल सर को अनम्यूट करिए भाई सर यू आर नॉट ऑडिबल टू अस ओके यस सर नाउ सर यू कैन कंटिन्यू सर ओके गुड गुड आफ्टरनून एवरीवन आई एम डॉक्टर दिलीप कुमार बेज Uh, from FM Autonomous College, Barashur. I must thanks to Gargi Madam, most revered person. I heard her name from my PhD life. So thanks, Madam Gargi Madam, and uh, I thanks to organizer Mr. Sir and Runu Madam. They have uh, arranged such type of uh, webinar, and in this pandemic situation. so so comes to the my topic um hello can you can able to see my slide yes sir hello hello No sir. Uh, yes. Yes, sir. Uh, no. Sir, share your screen, sir. We can oh. able to see. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Ah. Hmm. I shared, but it is not. Uh, able to visualize i already said no uh, sir everyone should have to pin on your uh, hello hello sir there will be another dilip kumar bhai so uh, we okay, have to okay. pin we have to pin on this ah uh, uh, screen will uh, now Now, sir, present you present your presentation will be cancelled. Your presentation already cancelled. Okay, okay. Again, okay. again present. Stop the present and. Uh, oh, don't, 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 don't. Yes, sir. Now you are able to see. Yes, sir. It slides. is visible. Yes, yes sir. sir. It is visible and audible, sir. So continue, sir. Okay, okay, okay. Thanks, thanks for technical problem. Now come to the point. So topic is a very emergent topic: molecular basis of RNA vaccines against COVID-19. So. Hmm. Okay. Okay. next so in this uh, large uh, novel corona virus in the all the world uh, now in a so in showing in a uh, or moving in a one direction uh, to find out the solution for the corona virus so uh, this uh, corona virus is uh, globally it is infecting 
and um, all are searching for the vaccine day and night all all researchers are working but um, till now it is in question mark so whatever uh, data we have recent uh, that i am presenting to you so topic is novel coronavirus you know coronavirus is uh, belongs to the family corona viride that accounts for the uh, cold and upper respiratory tract infection in adults so before this uh, coronavirus uh, in 2002-3 sars severe acute respiratory syndrome in which uh, infected was uh, this figure 8098 and uh, death was also uh, 774 so this is this was the figure no 2012 uh, the, the mors middle east uh, respiratory syndrome that is also belongs to the corona viride uh, it also having mortality Next, uh, in 2000, late in 2019, 19, it is uh, novel coronavirus emerged. So this is the today today data. You can see on my slide. Uh, world data is uh, this one. See this 12 lakhs till now mortality occurs. In India also 1 lakh 23,000. This data today um, at 7 a.m. I just uh, uh, mentioned this one collected uh, from the internet. And uh, Odisha is. Uh, 1,352 and Baleswar C69 people have been died with this. So, so this is in this pandemic situation, we have to gain the knowledge of what uh, what is the uh, vaccines, how the vaccine will be come out. So, the outbreak centered in Wuhan. First, it was reported in Wuhan, Hubei province, China, animal reservoir. So, uh, thinking that primary primary uh, um, infected person so it, it is a zoonotic virus no it comes from the animal so that is bad and secondary palm give uh, sea bats that is your cat okay so it is uh, for the SARS and MERS is your camels and their cellular respiratory receptors are the ACE2 ACE2 that means angiotensin converting enzymes 2 uh, for the SARS and MERS is your dipeptide for peptidase 4 these are the enzymes which is uh, receive uh, receive the our uh, uh, coronavirus okay so um, next uh, 2019 novel coronavirus also having the same ace2 that means angiotensin converting enzyme 2 uh, therefore it is called coronavirus 2 because uh, if we refer to the sars as coronavirus 1 then this is year 2 why it is called coronavirus why it is called coronavirus? Because it uh, literally meaning that it is having the crown-like structure, crown-like structures, and uh, mm, therefore it is called corona. And uh, it it uh, having the four types of proteins. It is a membrane so glycoprotein, N protein, nucleocapsid protein, and spike protein, and envelope protein. So this is the molecular structure of the uh, uh, structure of the your uh, coronavirus or SARS cov two severe acute respiratory syndrome uh, corona virus 2 and corona virus 2 is uh, having the uh, gene genetic material single stranded rna and uh, four types of protein it encodes for the four type of four types of protein um, to remember it is also very very easy um, smen smen SEG stands for spike m is your membrane protein and E for envelope protein and N is for nucleic acid protein. Nucleic acid protein is required for the packaging of the nucleic acid molecules. Okay, next. So come to point how how virus attack to the cells. So SARS virus, SARS virus COVID-2, uh, it is having the spike protein. It is the main attached to the our cells. Okay, because our cell host cell is having the ACE2 receptor. That is I already said angiotensin. Uh, containing enzyme 2 receptor that will binds to the binds to the, the spike proteins then when it enters to the uh, host cell it will uh, it is a general phenomenon of the virus life cycle virus uh, it will enters it will cleaves the host genome nucleic acids host uh, genome and it will direct the host genome or the uh, uh, it, uh, take the charge of the host cellular machinery to synthesize their own genetic materials Okay. Then the, the so many phase particles will be developed. Next, uh, life cycle of the SARS. So life cycles of the SARS, uh, if we analyze, first it will bind to the uh, host cell, it will inject the uh, its genome, uh, in case of SARS, the RNA genome, then translations to translation of, of, of machinery will be uh, occurs. So that means 
एआईजीटी जा रहे हैं जेनेटिक मटेरियल सो इट विल बी रेप्लिकेट्स एंड इट विल फोर टाइप ऑफ मेम्ब्रेन प्रोटीन विल बी सिंथेसाइज देन इट विल गो फॉर द एंडोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम फॉर द सिंथेसिस ऑफ द एंडोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम एजिट राइबोसोम इज एसोसिएटेड टू फॉर्म द दिस फेज पार्टिकल्स एंड देयर विल बी द बॉस्टिंग फॉर्मेशन ऑफ द मैच्योर वीरियन पार्टिकल्स देन इट विल बी बॉस्ट to release the uh, a million number of so the virus again so if the one or two virus entered it will produce the million number of virus from the cell itself so this is the uh, this what events occurs in the our host cell so we can target for the th- therapeutics see uh, viral viral entry one of the point uh, transmission uh, translation of the viral replication machinery viral uh, replication and uh, translation of the viral structural protein so virion assembly then release of virus so these are the six point where it uh, we can target for the therapeutics so next uh, come to the vaccination we know all these vaccination this is the phenomenon of the uh, preventive immunization it involves the administration of the injection by injection or orally admi- given an antigen to elicit antibody in response to prote- protect the organism against future infection so this is a general uh, definition Uh, we are uh, we are giving the uh, polio vaccine by orally or uh, your measles vaccine mmr uh, in by through the injection so so many uh, vaccines we are giving to elicit or to evoke our immune systems so increasing the concentration of the antibody objective is to in- increase the concentration of the antibody or in fact t cells that are the reactive to the antigen so process of immunization that is called vaccination okay so now just uh, uh, i am giving the, uh, the general idea immune system we know it, it is very versatile our immune system it is uh, it is pro- it always it fights with against the disease the germs so the two types of mainly classification what is your innate immune system and other one is your adaptive immune system everyone knows this so innate means that is non specific it is since birth since birth it is not particular to any disease it it have the suppose skin skin is a mechanical barrier and your hcl hcl is uh, killing the bacteria virus so this type of non specific and uh, your macrophages uh, monocyte these are the it will come to under the innate immunity but adaptive immunity after the innate immunity adaptive immunity the specific type of immunity specific type of it it consists of cellular components and humoral components cellular components mainly the t cells and the humoral components from the, from the antibody the antibody just come form from the b cells So now come to the types of vaccine. So several types of vaccines are available: um, protein subunit vaccines, uh, attenuated vaccines, uh, live uh, live attenuated vaccines, uh, inactivated vaccines. Inactivated vaccines means the the organism killed, then it is introduced to into the host cell, but it serves uh, the but it is sufficient to evoke our immune system. Then uh, your uh, DNA vaccine, RNA vaccine. So many vaccines are available in the market, but uh, it is. Uh, not a sure shot answer for our digit what we are searching for then okay now comes to focus on how vaccines are prepared uh, because uh, virus bacteria all, all are uh, they are foreign bodies so what we are doing this uh, uh, um, virus either we have to attenuated that means live attenuated live we are uh, heat treated by radiation or uh, simply by heating by lowering the virulency that uh, injected to the cells and inactivated vaccine inactivated vaccines means just killed and uh, introduced to the cell so it has also potentiality to evoke our immune system so broadly the, the uh, mechanism is type this type one is your live attenuated and another one is your inactivated vaccines so how vaccines are prepared But, um, that means uh, this the uh, uh, this uh, corona virus corona virus having the uh, vaccine uh, spike protein so spike proteins now it is act as an antigen this 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 will be attached spike protein will be attached to the our receptor ace2 receptors so this will be first it is act as an antigen antigen means any foreign body can enter into the cells and it can evoke our immune systems or stimulate our immune system next uh, how uh, see when it is introduced into this uh, in our cell 
so there in our immune system two types of cells will be developed no in the uh, so, uh, t cells or b cells you know the, the cells which are developed from the b cells and are mature get mature in the thymus gland that is t cells and uh, the cell which are formed in the b cell and get maturation in the bone marrow also that is called b cells so the b cells uh, having the uh, it is the uh, it is a uh, cell which will produce the antibodies the antibodies are the main recruit main military of this uh, immune system antibody that are the glycoproteins which are uh, uh, to, to always uh, surrounding uh, wondering for the foreign anti foreign antigens so see when it is, it gets the foreign antigen the t cell t cell receptor t cell receptor is bind to bind here t cell receptor always uh, it is it, because uh, the immune system has a specific type of properties no so that is uh, specificity diversity immunologic memory self non self recognition so all the type of specificity it is very specific no it is it, the, the immune system can recognize the uh, antigen uh, if the uh, it is differ only one amino acids so it is very specific diversity also to get the particular antibodies it is diverse tremendously and if one it will match with the uh, epitope of an antigen then the, that will be proliferate other will be degraded what we are calling the clonal selection so this uh, when one antigen or the foreign body enters to our cell at that time t cell having the t cell receptor that will binds to it, it, that uh, it will clear that one because on activation of t cell also very two types here th cell tc cell th cell will be uh, when it will be activated then there will be the uh, it will secrete the cytokines uh, so it will it will stimulate the other cells which are have a role in the immune systems same similarly in the b cells if it is a uh, when a nav b cell nav b cell means not previously encountered encountered with an antigen when it will be first encountered with the antigen then it will be diverged into plasma cells and your memory b cell memory b cells have longer life span than the original b cells whereas this plasma cells are secretory in nature it secretes 2000 molecules even 2000 molecules of antibodies in one second so such a very uh, very uh, efficient immune system we have so when the foreign antigen antigen enters so the t cell receptor binds to the antigen and to clear that foreign antibody so see how the antigens are clumping uh, and the, the b cells uh, secret the, uh, the plasma cells secret the so many uh, uh, anti antibodies and that antibodies will be uh, it is antigen binding sites and the uh, antibody uh, binding site that will be, they will be clumped and uh, they will be clear that one see my figure right these all these are antigen is surrounded by this uh, antibodies and uh, like this so uh, th th this type of uh, uh, when this uh, antibodies are uh, synthesized th that antibodies we can uh, we can collect the uh, we can say for the vaccine that means what for the vaccine preparation we need uh, so many eggs so many eggs suppose that virus is injected to the egg egg cell then there there will be the culture inside the egg cell then that will be in incubated incubated for one month and after the incubation we have to sterilize it sterilize it that means uh, either attenuated or by, by killing that um, virus then purification will be occur see this is inoculating the virus then there will be the uh, uh, isolating the virus uh, killed virus or attenuated virus from the egg so each each vaccine each each one vaccine is collected from the uh, from one egg one egg that is uh, one vaccine will be prepared so see in the in the egg cell in the egg cell how this uh, virus are multiplying its number so uh, first it will the uh, virus will be show its virulence in the egg cells then uh, when it will be introduced into the human cell human cell now it is it is now become uh, Uh, loses its virulency, but it is self-sufficient to evoke our immune system. So, likewise, the vaccine is uh, ready for the inoculation. After purification, we are ready to uh, pur purification the virus. Then it can be used for the vaccine. So, then we can inject to that vaccine, that attenuated vaccine. Again, that that, that will be stimulate our uh, immune cells, B cell, T cell. That will be secrete the antibodies. and it will clear the disease so for this vaccine preparation a massive use of the eggs eggs for that it is a very long time also for one month it is required no uh, vaccines are synthesized 
and it is transported to every part of the world. So now this is, these are the conventional vaccines. So why conventional vaccines? Uh, it is not uh, uh, it having so many disadvantages. You know? Risk for the chromosomal integration. Suppose if that is one DNA vaccine, DNA based vaccines. So DNA based vaccine, we have to inject inject into the, the host cell, and that will be integrates with the our host cell chromosome. So it has to pass the nuclear membrane and it will integrate. So it is uh, always uh, what happened. It is a big disadvantage by using the DNA vaccine. When we are using the DNA vaccine, that means we are giving an opportunity to hamper in our genetic systems, foreign bodies to genetic systems. So if if it may promote the oncogenes, it may pro uh, so silence it may um, um, so silence a particular gene. So always therefore DNA vaccine is. Uh, forbidden to uh, to come to the market and uh, and also in the conventional vaccine what have been handling the infectious material that means that will be killed or it will be cultured and uh, purified suppose all if the, the, that uh, um, uh, 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 purification is not uh, cleared or that uh, 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 what is the inoculation of the virus it is uh, it is still live inside the egg cell so it is a very uh, uh, Hurtful, dangerous for us. Long time for preparation. Risk, risk of virus escape also. Suppose in the culture medium, like from the lab, it is escape to another person, contaminated to another person, or infected to another person. So it is a very risk factor. Danger of non-virulent organism getting converted to virulent. Suppose we are giving the vaccine, and uh, that vaccine will be reversed back because these all are the live anti antigen or killed antigen. So this virus, if it is uh, back its virulency. Then uh, that is uh, very harmful, no? So these are the drawbacks of the conventional vaccines. And now we know that novel coronavirus genome, novel coronavirus genome, what we call SARS-CoV-2. So this SARS-CoV-2 having the uh, 29 KB, you can see. The, uh, I have downloaded from the NCBI, NCBI uh, that is the uh, gene bank. So gene bank, it, is, it was first uh, genome sequence uh, in the January. Uh, so it is uh, around 29 KB, 29.9 KB, total uh, genome of the um, coronavirus. So that's 29 uh, KB, it, it, uh, it synthesizes the, the uh, 6 ORF upon reading frame. So you can analyze the novel coronavirus genome. It is very essential to understand this SARS-CoV-2 genome structure. So see, there is a 6 uh, ORF. So first two is your ORF, ORF1 upon reading frame 1A and ORF open reading frame 1B. So these two ORF, ORF means uh, uh, the, the, this, uh, it contains the coding genes, no? So this uh, uh, contains about two thirds of the whole genome, okay? From, from in, uh, because in a genome, what happened, the five, five prime cap will be there, and uh, this one, uh, ORF, uh, after five prime cap, the, the, there will be UTR, five prime UTR, untranslated region. Then uh, the, the uh, ORF region, coding region, ORF 1A, ORF 1B, and rest four will be the very uh, small proteins for the uh, small uh, accessory proteins will be there. So see, ORF1A or NSP3. So NSP3 means non-structural protein. ORF1A and ORF1B, uh, it will give rise to um, non-structural protein. Non-structural protein means that the, the enzymes, so papain-like proteases, 3CL proteases, these, these enzymes are helping the degradation of the host genome. Because this is the viral life cycle. No, when virus is entered to a uh, host cell, it will first clip the host genome and take the charge over the uh, take the charge over the all its cell machinery. So uh, these are the uh, genes which are uh, the, the uh, it will secrete it will synthesize their own translation. It will give rise to enzymes and uh, this NSP12, this RNA dependent RNA polymerase. This will be help the replication of its own genome RNA genome. And this helicase helicase will help to the breaking of the host genome. So these all the ORF one A, ORF one B, these are the two very vital, vital gene, vital gene uh, uh, that for the replication, transcription, machinery of the viral genome. And rest four will be. I told you that that, that, that four type of proteins are synthesized. Yeah, S S E M N S E M N. To remember very easy is S E M N S E M. So spike protein, envelope protein, membrane protein, and nucleocapsid protein. So nucleocapsid protein help in the Packaging of the genomic material. Packaging, packaging of the its genome. So I think all of you understand this viral genome. It is comes from the uh, 29, 29 point uh, around 
See, 29.9. So it is it is an you know, it is it's mentioned 29.6, 29,000, uh, this uh, 674 can be the spare. And uh, high prime is your always, always in a gene structure, high prime, high prime is your cap, 7 methyl guanolate, and there will be high prime UTR, untranslated region. And there will be the ORF, ORF continues, con contains the uh, uh, protein coding genes and uh, the 3 prime UTR, then the polyadenylation tell what we have seen in the mRNA genome. Okay, so next switch over to the slide. So in the, but out of 29 KB, uh, some of the part uh, we have sequenced that it is responsible for our candidate gene, spike protein, because we, we, we have seen that spike protein is the main protein spike protein is the main protein to bind with the host cell no, not all over the, the it will binds because spike protein will be binds to the host uh, host cell because the receptor will be uh, produce the ace2 angiotensin containing enzyme 2 that will binds to the spike protein right so that spike protein will be, if we, we will take this candidate gene this this spike protein gene we will take the candidate uh. gene and synthesize the synthesize its mrna because itself is it the rna genome so we can in, we can synthesize it in, in vitro, in vitro outside the cell, and this RNA genome it will synthesize and again inoculated with uh, inoculated with the host cell. That host cell will be uh, form the uh, spike protein. See, this was how the why we are emphasizing on the spike protein. That is a candidate gene, candidate gene for the uh, uh, for the synthesizing for the synthesizing the vaccine. So this is your um, uh, coronavirus. So this uh, ACE2 will be our, uh, this will be ACE2, that means the receptor. This will bind to the spike protein. Then the, the, this will gradually enter. So uh, which one is attaching? That means this, this, uh, this spike protein with our host receptor that containing ACE2. And uh, see, it is entering. And uh, after entering, you know the normal process, it will uh, the, the, our immune system, um, B cell, and, uh, Will uh, B cell and T cell will be activated to form the antibodies and effect of T cell, uh, cytoplasm, uh, cytotoxic T cells. So all these uh, activated cells, immune cells, will be uh, surrounding the foreign bodies. So uh, as this is the spike protein genes, we are synthesizing the mRNA. This is this will be this will be the for that it is a the candidate gene for the synthesizing the vaccine. So this can, mRNA can be in vitro. It is replicated. It is uh, replicated by the um, polymerase uh, enzymes and that will be enter into the that uh, mrna 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 of the spike protein it will enter into the immune cells because we have the uh, so many cell dendritic cell antigen, antigen presenting cells that will enter into the um, by by the uh, by the injection or by so many methods are there to to, uh, to, to, to deliver the this mrna mrna so then see this mrna is gradually entering into this uh, immune cells immune cells may be any cell that is dendritic cells or immuno and uh, antigen presenting cells so many cells see this uh, now it is probably entering to the immune cells immune cells now gradually develop these spikes so this immune cells is it belongs to us it in, inside the human being so this uh, when the uh, spike protein uh, mrna mrna is now entering to the immune cells immune cells is now developing these spikes so the spikes it is now act as an antigen inside our cells so when the antigen it is now it is it will behave as antigen so when this antigen will be because of this uh, spike protein spike mrna is replicating you know and it is important that mrna is not going to the not entering into the nuclear membrane to the nucleus to the inti for the integration of the dna it is just inside the cytoplasm where it will be seen, uh, by the help of the ribosome it, it will be synthesized its protein so that spike protein will be found developed in the immuno cells when spike protein will be developed in the immune cells, the B cells, uh, T cells will again activated to form the, uh, to um, engulf this one or the to clear this one. See how the B cell is maturing. B cell is maturing, the plasma, uh, plasma cell, B cell will be on activation plasma cell, secretory in nature, so it will, it will give like the million numbers of the uh, antibodies. See how this, how this is clumping. So now we are, we are, comes to the point that the mRNA vaccine, if it is, it, is, it is gives this, uh, it is just like the mimicking the infectious. Normally, the uh, virus is entering, but we are giving the a candidate gene from the uh, from the uh, coronavirus, and that candidate gene is introduced to our cell. It is behave as antigen, and it is to stimulate our immune system to clear that one or to kill that one. So that uh, uh, mRNA, 
can be used as it our corona that is vaccine mrna vaccine so it is moderna which in, in the us company even the best company moderna and pfizer both are the they are doing uh, mrna 1273 so see the, now they are uh, in the trial process so th- after this uh, there is also so many mechanism how mrna vaccines are prepared so mrna vaccines having the, what i have told you that 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 is, that is the five prime care always all the mrna having the five prime care seven methyl guanylate because you know mrna is very susceptible for degradation in outside the cell it is very easily degraded every where is uh, rnas rnas because uh, this rna is rnas will be uh, immediately uh, degraded that one or uh, because you know the dna is a very stable molecule no it is a very uh, of course it will take time um, than the uh, mrna so mrna having structure is like this 5 prime cap so 7 methyl guanylate and 5 prime utr upon reading prem upon reading prem then this 3 prime utr and podialate and listen tell so when our objective is to give a safety efficacy efficient and efficacy um, preparation of the vaccine so that vaccine should be it can be modified as per our will so see upon reading frame we are injecting we are inoculating only the spike protein gene so spike protein gene we are in, inoculating here but the rest we have to be add five prime cap utr three prime utr earlier so this is sequence is uh, uh, engineered mrna because uh, if we are uh, on usual base if we remove that on usual base and the uh, usual base if we are uh, inoculating then it is the um, it uh, it increases enhances the our uh, antigen production it will boost boost the uh, robust boost of the your uh, um, uh, antibody system production of the antibodies okay so uh, we are genetic injured mrna which is synthesized and some with something modification in the mrna sequence okay then next come to the one conventional mrna and self amplifying rna so the, of course yes yeah, rna we can synthesize but there is also uh, difference that the conventional mrna and self amplifying rna if you take the conventional rna corpus so rna is your single stranded gene and the, this is gene of interest goi this is antigen gene we have inoculated 5 prime utr cap and 3 utr polyadenine so that so that uh, 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 single stranded rna by the uh, surrounded by the lpn lipid uh, nanoparticle or the or the by the liposome it can be uh, inoculated to the host cell and uh, the, it will form the endosomes so that endosomes will be will be uh, now religious because that is the viral uh, it is the attitude will be virus type so that uh, rna will be out and uh, by through the uh, ribosome it will synthesize that pro- proteins so that protein will be ke- uh, cleaved by the proteasomes our body cells so that proteasome will be cleaved the protein sequences so that that that, that pro- proteins will be uh, now it will be present for the msc molecule because the msc molecule will be synthesized in the golgi uh, red, uh, uh, that is endoplasmic reticulum so the, the, there it will be processed and it will be for the uh, presentation of the uh, uh, proteins the present presentation of the antigens now it is uh, binded with the msc molecules so then the antibody will be binds here so in the self amplifying mrna in the conventional rna what only one rna is there but in self amp- uh, 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 gene of interest but in self amplifying mrna gene of interest along with the replication machinery inside the cell we are in we are making the uh, uh, in a replicating machinery so that replicating means normally we are taking the positive uh, positive virus positive sense virus positive sense virus alpha virus okay so that alpha virus will be help the uh, synthesize the nsps nsps means non structural protein so the non structural protein means helicase rna polymerase all these non structural protein enzymes that will be synthesized so when that will be synthesized when that will be synthesized and uh, um, it will help for the replication of the mrna here we are just inoculating the single rna but here the, the, the that gene of interest that means anti uh, candidate gene is again replicated so many time to robust the uh, immune system that means more amount of rna will be um, formed more amount of the protein uh, protein will be formed so that will be cleaved by the proteasomes and that will be uh, 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 present for the msc molecules 
MSC molecule. So that MSC molecule will be see. This is few number of MSC molecule is uh, formed. For which uh, we will attach. And here huge amount of the MSC molecule because uh, replication is inside the cell at the in the in the, the in the uh, uh, this machine this machinery this machinery is uh, by, uh, what is the, no need to cross the nuclear membrane. It is everything event occur in the cytoplasm. That is a very good point in the mRNA vaccines. Very very advantageous to us. We are not giving opportunity to cleave our, to uh, touch our genetic systems. So in, that is a very good advantage of the mRNA. So I think overall we understood what is conventional and conventional environment, only gene of interest. But here along with the gene of interest, along with the gene of interest, uh, the replicative basinary genes are also, we are genetically engineered and introduced into the cell. So how RNA vaccine work inside the cell? Mechanism of the RNA vaccine. See, in vitro transcribed mRNA, transfection we are doing, transfection. Then it will enter into the cells by the endosomes. mRNA, mRNA, the mRNA will be by the help of ribosome. The translation occurs. So the protein is synthesized, protein will be cleaved by the proteasomes. So the proteasomes will be now for the endoplasmic reticulum where the MSC, MSC is formed. So it will binds to the... Oh. Okay, okay. So, so, so this, uh, these are the things, and in the here, I mean, uh, this one is your endogenously, but where exogenously protein is that, that, that protein is uh, now endocytosis, it is now goes MSC2, and it is a presentation of the MSC class 2. So see, delivery methods, so many delivery methods of RNA vaccines are also there. Naked mRNA, naked mRNA, electroporation method by the, by the by high electric voltage, protamine, cationic nano emulsion, modifier, the, the dendro, the, the, the drymore nanoparticle, protamine liposomes. So, so, so many types of liposomes are there. So, uh, uh, see, the schematic illustration of mRNA vaccine production target, genome sequencing, electron transfer of the sequence, vaccine design, and pilot mRNA vaccine is synthesized. So, vaccination starts. So, mRNA is a uh, mRNA vaccine start. So, speciality of the why RNA vaccine is used to non infectious, non integrating, natural degradation, egg and cell, no need to culture in the egg, needs to cross only one membrane, that is cell membrane, no need to cross the your nuclear membrane, efficient induction of T and B cell immune response, enhanced protein expression, no need of, for promoter, active in the non dividing cell, preparation time is very less, rapid production, glycolyzed vaccine retain full biological activity. So see, this is the cl uh, clinical trial for the uh, safety and efficacy of the mRNA-1273. So uh, these are the uh, procedures. They have uh, trialed uh, with this uh, uh, assessment of SARS-CoV-2 binding antibody and uh, check the neutralizing response. So there is no serious adverse effect noted in the first vaccination. They are, because the dose is different, you know, 20 micro microgram, 100 microgram, and 250 microgram they have given. And uh, in the 250 microgram, they show some uh, um, having the uh, participant who are uh, the reported fever. So they are now trying to be 100 microgram will be maximum. Okay. So this is the its result. The mRNA vaccine was immunogenic, inducing robust binding of the antibody response to both full length uh, um, spike proteins, receptor binding domain in all participants after the first vaccination in a time and a dodge dependent fashion and it is uh, high neutralizing antibody responses were also elicited in a dodge dependent fashion okay. so so this is the this is the uh, recent uh, uh, preliminary report of the uh, moderna what they have tested and it is uh, they are now trying to the uh, now doing second trial and uh, third trying that they will be uh, expected to evaluate 100 microgram dose it will be uh, it will comes to the uh, very soon okay so it is the d d difference between dna vaccine and rna vaccine uh, all, all i have explained dna vaccine is your just integration it will cross the uh, uh, nuclear membrane integrates with our host genome by the uh, suitable vectors but here is no need of uh, the um, over the nucleus it is just an, all the events occurs in the cytoplasm and the protein synthesis will be occurs that uh, that will be uh, artificial antigen uh, and it will be recognized by the our body immune systems 
So this is the comparison between the traditional RNA DNA vaccines, so traditional ex exogenously produced antigens, traditional vaccine, or the uh, mRNA vaccines, so very microgram, and DNA vaccine, very huge amount of the uh, DNA is needed for the stable uh, integration with the host genome. Thank you. So, hello. Yes, sir. Uh, so, any question? I welcome. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. You have rightly said, highlighting the pros and cons of RNA vaccines. And you have also beautifully discussed about the coronavirus genome and the delivery method of RNA vaccine. So thank you very much, sir. So now we will be going to the question answer session. So the question is asked by one of the participants, Santi Prabha Behera, that how is the mRNA vaccines are more effective than that of the antigen vaccines? So antigen vaccines. So, 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 so. Yes. antigen vaccine may be with the protein ACS. If it is protein ACS, then there is a drawback in the protein vaccine. In case of protein vaccine, there is a phenomenon, MSC haplotype restriction. MSC haplotype restriction. That means if that protein vaccine is, uh, is uh, killed our own protein, so that, that, that is a very disadvantage of the protein, protein vaccine. But in case of the DNA vaccine, you know that is very, very dangerous. And uh, because we are uh, we are giving someone foreign bodies to inoculate, uh, interfering in our genetic system. Whereas uh, in uh, um, RNA, there is no need to go for entering to the um, uh, cross border the nuclear membrane. Just everything, every every event is occurring inside the cytoplasm. So as compared to the proteins or uh, DNA, I think mRNA will be a very uh, it will be safe. And it is, it, if it works, because Moderna is uh, trying its best for, for the uh, giving out the vaccine within this mid of the 2021, and um, I think it will help, uh, it will work. And if it is work, then it will be a revolutionary history in the vaccine vaccinology that the RNA can be a stubborn. But the disadvantage of RNA is that it is a, it is a very de degradable. No? So that uh, storage is very important because uh, now the transfecting strategies are now developed to stable the RNA, that RNA can be uh, stored for the one and a half years. So I think apart from the uh, protein protein vaccines and the DNA vaccines, mRNA will be beat the, it will be beat the all type of vaccines. And just I want to add one thing. Uh, Yes, madam. Madam, please. Yes, yeah, yes. No, no, no. That is the add-on point. Ah, yeah. uh, actually, this uh, this triggers this innate uh, this uh, immune system rather than the active immune system. Uh, so it is uh, yeah. uh, just like uh, that is the main advantage of this MRI. So what say uh, sir has told that is right. Uh, and in addition to that, this is another point to be uh, noted. Ah, it, it can also MRI. evoke our innate immune system. Uh, um, uh, yes, it works on that. Uh, that is there. So thank I you, madam. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you, madam. Thank you, sir. Thank you, you madam. Also. Thank you, thank sir. You. Thank you, ma'am. Any other question? I welcome because I have done because I was in ten years in research field, you know. So I I did of course I was in marine biotechnology. I was doing and everything. Every these techniques already I have done this. So it is very easy for me to understand the mechanism. Okay. Any question? Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. So there is no more questions. So now we will be on to the concluding part. And now I will request Mr. Gopal Chandra Das, Assistant Professor, Geology Department, Ramuna Degree College, to deliver vote of thanks to our participants. Sir, please.
थैंक यू मैम फॉर मे टू गिव वोट ऑफ थैंक्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वुड लाइक टू थैंक्स डॉक्टर गार्गी महां मैम असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर ऑफ जुलोज डिपार्टमेंट नॉर्थ ओडिस यूनिवर्सिटी बारिपदा फॉर दिस सेशन मैम you really you really enlightened us so uh, your valuable information informative presentation thank you ma'am i thanks to dr dilip kumar bes assistant professor in department of zoology at the autonomous college baleswar for the dynamic for his dynamic presentation thank you sir i thanks to all participant across the state who have spared their valuable time to become a part of this webinar I thanks Mrs. Mrs. Jayanti Naik, Principal Ramana Dairi College, for giving such an opportunity to give organize this webinar. I heartily thanks to all participant, organizing members, dignitaries, technical supporting members for their unflinching support and coordination. Thanks to Runu Madam for your enthusiastic support for organizing this webinar. With these warm words and kind messages, we move to the end of the today's webinar. Thank you all. Thank you, sir. So now uh, we will end the session, and the feedback link will be provided in the. whatsapp group so thank you sir and ma'am and thanks to all the participants so this session is open thank you one and all